I have to tell you, it smells great in here uh, for a reason, because these guys are the champions. Uh, first of all, the Byward Market Stew Cook-Off is coming. It happens to be happening this upcoming Friday. Let's say hello first to Yasna Jennings, Executive Director with the uh, Byward Market BIA. Hello, how are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you, are you today? I'm good. Are you feeling hungry right now? <laughs> it smells so good as soon as he brought great. that out. Uh, Mo Youssef is with us as well, Chef of the Heart and Crown in Preston. Nice to see you here. Nice to see you too. Uh, you're here with uh, Matt Gregoire's creation, right? Yes, I'm representing Matt. Okay. He's, uh, he's under the weather today. Okay, as a lot of people are. Seems yeah, like for a lot sure. Of people are dealing with that today. Okay, let's let's talk about this, uh, uh, Yasna. This amazing event has been taking place, taking part of Winterlude festivities for quite some time. How many years? At this this point? is our 27th annual wow. Winterlude Stew Cook-Off. So definitely a crowd favorite mm -hmm. and a, a Byward Market favorite. You, you clearly weren't there in the beginning. No. Clearly. <laughs> but uh, do you know why they, they created this uh, 27 years back? Well, again, it was really a, an opportunity to bring the community together and to do something fun for Winterlude. And nothing says kind of home and warmth and comfort during the winter as much as stew. Yeah, definitely. How many uh, vendors or uh, restaurants do you have on board for the this year? For this year, we have just shy of 20. Which is good. So Yes. No, that's amazing. And I don't know anybody who's ever gotten through all of the stew offers. There's so many. Yeah, so we have pictures from uh, the uh, stew cook-off years past. Now, now I've managed to be a judge in the past as well. And I knew, know in the earlier days, uh, you had us outside. Which is good and bad. I mean, it's winter, we're Canadian, right? Mm -hmm. But now the event is happening indoors, uh, indoors, so to speak. Well, right. We've got a tent. So the tent tradition started a couple of years ago when we, uh, it was forecast for really frigid, frigid weather. Mm -hmm. And we thought, okay, we can't have people standing, especially chefs and so on that are there for the whole You're time. Right. It's hard to stand up there. So we started with the tent. And then for the folks like the chefs, the judges, everybody kind of said, we really like the tent. Can we, <laughs> can, can we, can we keep it? Helps. So, um, and it does. And if you get snow, it kind of, you know, keeps everything covered and dry. Oh, of course. So, of course. Uh, but we're still outside. I mean, there is a tent. It's slightly heated, but it's still an outdoor event, so yeah. come come dressed for come it. Come prepared for winter yes. loot. So it was the People's Choice Award then that the Heart and Crown won yeah, last year? Yeah, it was year? the first place People's Choice Award, so actually the people tasted it and voted. Yeah. That's the one we want to win. Yeah, because that's what the people like. Yeah, And, and you, know, you know what they want. So can you tell us exactly what is in the stew for so this? So, yeah, like, like, like I said, this is Matt Gregor's soup, uh, stew, and uh, it's a short maple glazed uh, short rib. Maple so it has glazed uh, short rib. heirloom carrots in it. It has uh, fingerling potatoes. And also has uh, cipollini onions, which is in traditionally uh, the Italian description for it is little onions. Yeah. They're very like sweet. That's and it incredible. also has some rosemary, thyme, and tarragon okay. with uh, maple syrup. So obviously the Heart and Crown is taking part in this again yes, this year. Uh, yeah. So would you be bringing this creation out again or, or because well, they won he's, already? Uh, actually, uh, representing Matt today, uh, he's, he's going to be doing uh, the short ribs too, but this year with a little truffle and wild mushroom. So oh. Some chanterelles and uh, kick it up a shiitake, notch here. yeah. So it should be it should be really good. That's interesting. You know, I'm going to ask you if we were going to have a chance to to taste this here. Because, I mean, I know it was the people's choice, Yeah. but it's, it's the choice of daytime Ottawa, you know? <laughs> people's I'm, choice is the one gonna, you want to win. I'm going to say yes, <laughs> no matter what. Well, it certainly good. smells good. So. <laughs> I'd love to have, try some if that's a possibility. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so how much is it to, to do this, to, to be a part of this event, to, to participate in eating the stew? So it's $10 at the door, all you can eat. And every penny of that $10 goes to charity. So mm -hmm. all of the restaurants are actually donating all of this stew in support of a great cause. So it's the Lower Town Community Resource Centre. They're a fantastic uh, resource centre just in our, uh, in our neighbourhood. Mm -hmm. And they do a lot of great work. And we're really happy to partner with them because the money that we raise here really makes a difference for them. Okay. Sometimes it sends extra kids to camp. Sometimes it's in support of their uh, neighbourhood house, which is in support of their community. They've got a lot of new Canadian. They do a lot of food programs because mm -hmm. people come from afar, and we know what fingerling potatoes and all these things are. But a lot of place, uh, a lot of folks who come from different places, the food is different. Mm -hmm. So they, they show them what's here in Canada and you know how they can prepare things. And it's really very much a community center, and we're really happy to be partners with them. Not to put you on the spot, but do you know how much has been raised over the years for different charities? Over different the years, I can't tell you, but I can say on average we raise anywhere from about five thousand to seven thousand. Incredible. Uh, yeah, so, and I mean, translated, that means easily, you know, five, six hundred people over the course of lunch hour will come through, mm -hmm. get their bowl, get in, and, you know, eat as much as they can, vote 
for their favorites. And uh, can you tell us about some of the other restaurants that'll be on hand as well? Oh, for sure. Uh, so, well, again, another community partner that's really great to see. We've had them for quite a few years. Is actually the Ottawa Mission. Yeah. And they come with their. Uh, there you go. Uh, they come <laughs> with the students that they have in their uh, in their cooking program. Oh, do they? So that's a really lovely uh, addition. And again, it's really kind of bringing the whole community together. Mm. We've got. I mean, Heart and Crown is a regular old Dubliner. Mm. One of theirs is is in again. Uh, we wow. have the Courtyard uh, Fish Market is actually a big favorite. They are uh, somebody else who often wins. Tucker's <laughs> often wins. They're in again. So I mean, we've got a lot of something folks. you want to say here. <laughs> it's Heart and Crown's going to win. <laughs> no, <laughs> just joking. But uh, we are also offering this too today at the Heart and Crown in the market. So if anybody wants to go try it. Uh, Aha, if you want to try last year's winner, come last on down for lunch. Any more details lunch. you want to give us while I eat this? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's like it. Well, we'll yeah. let you enjoy your stew. It goes from 11.30 oh, wow. until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We're in that. a new location this year. We are on York Street right in front of the Ottawa Letters. You can't miss us, the great big tent. Nice. And the tent's going to be there all weekend. We've actually got some really great Winterlude programming going on all weekend. So on Saturday, um, actually Friday night and Saturday, we've got the Lego Master, Brickman Graham, coming. And he's going to do lots of kind of fun winter theme Lego stuff with folks yeah. come on down play we've got um, craft uh, craft night out is coming to do beaded snowflakes with kids we've got our byward beat silent uh, silent uh, disco edition server games on Sunday so afternoon on, on Clarence so and our and our and all of our <laughs> sculptures so all come right. on down to the market lots to see and do for winter loot byward dash market.com of course the, uh, the website yep. and I'm just I, I can barely even speak right now this is amazing so That's you definitely have my vote so perfect one for Dylan Black and Daytime Ottawa uh, thank you very much uh, Yasna and uh, Mo for being here today thank you thank you very have much fun on Friday yeah thank you so much more daytime coming up in moments did you know that February is pet dental health month details next